You won't believe that there is a hot national park in America that can consume and burn anything into ashes. And the mysterious features of this park make it one of the most interesting places to witness a stunning land rainbow generated by nature. Yellowstone National Park gives us a glimpse of what hell could feel like and also change our belief of what exists as normal. Let's exclusively explore a giant steaming rainbow hole in the ground that finally broke the most bizarre record in America. The thrilling Yellowstone National Park completely changes our idea of reality. Imagine discovering a seven-color rainbow permanently ascribed in a large hole. Perhaps you will be eager to wake from such a dream, but shockingly, something strange yet very real exists in the western United States, largely in the northwest corner of Wyoming, covering the entire landscape into Montana and Idaho. This strange landscape color combination was established by the 42nd U.S. Congress and was signed into law by President Ulysses S. Grant on March 1, 1872. Yellowstone was the first national park in the U.S. and is also popularly known as the first national park in the world. The park is known for its wildlife and its many geothermal features, especially the Old Faithful Geyser. Although it is the most famous, it is not the highest of all North American geysers. This national treasure is where scientists have made some horrific discoveries that change the lifestyle of Americans. What are these discoveries? And what is the mysterious secret behind the Yellowstone National Parks that make them very popular globally? In the 1880s, Yellowstone was nothing but a rumor to European Americans. It was only thought to be propaganda distributed by hallucinating men living in the woods. Years later, Yellowstone not only revealed its beauty, but also its mythical hell status as well, and became the world's first national park. But strangely, this park never ceases to bubble up, steam, and boil like no other place on Earth. Its distinguishing feature is what generates its mystical Grand Prismatic Spring. The Grand Prismatic Spring Rainbow Color Void is thought to be more beautiful than a real rainbow in the sky. The rainbow is so gorgeous at first glance. However, it's a death trap, steaming as hot as what you can call hell. It's definitely advised to watch your steps while taking a sidewalk along this path. The sacred Yellowstone National Park is a 160-foot deep hot spring that looks more like the Valley of Death or Wonderland, where mysterious features that left scientists dumbfounded are always demonstrated. The National Park is so beautiful that adjusting your phone color settings is not necessary. When close to the Grand Prismic Spring, its beautiful rainbow is to be seen, followed by a spectrum of white light through a prism whose beauty leaves everyone confused. Sometimes it releases a blue ray, and at another interval, a red ray of light. Comparatively, the steaming pool changes its reflective ray just like a chameleon would do. Based on history, the hot spring was first officially named by the Hayden Expedition in 1871, which was the first federally funded expedition of what became Yellowstone today. But what causes the hot spring's magnificent color? It's all thanks to the heat-loving Sinococcus bacteria existing in the spring home. This bacteria is a unicell cyanobacterium that is very widespread on marine surfaces, potentially existing as oil, having a tiny size ranging from 0.8 to 1.5 micrometers. Its photosynthetic cocoid cells are found in shallow surface waters, where they can be very abundant. Another bacteria known as carotenoids though acting like a shielding element, protects the Sinococcus cells from extreme sunlight by capturing ultraviolet rays and passing them to chlorophyll pigments, which then convert light energy into chemical energy. Hence, the Sinococcus predominate in the yellow temperature band and live under harsh conditions. They generate more carotenoids than they would if they were living on the surface, giving the medium its yellow color. However, if Sinococcus were found living where there is less harsh sunlight, it would adopt a blue-green color, which we always see in lakes and ponds. Sinococcus color shines more during harsh sunlight. It also means that in the winter, when the sun is weak, the bacteria produce fewer carotenoids and therefore look less yellow and more blue-green. Moving outward from the yellow band, 
the temperature of the hot spring begins to cool, and as the temperature cools, a more diverse set of bacteria life can flourish. Sinococcus also resides in the orange band of the spring, which has a temperature of around 149 degrees Fahrenheit, but flows with another type of bacteria. They also act with the sun's energy, but emanate its energy through different types of chlorophyll and different types of carotenoids, which manifest as slightly different colors. The summary of these colors is the orange color, which can be seen in the printed landscape picture. Not that every bacteria manifests as orange individually, but the combined color seen when all these bacteria come together is orange. That orange color is in the ring next to it and is exactly the cardinoids that can be seen as produced by these bacteria. Cardinoids help shield themselves from the harsh light of Yellowstone's summer sun. Of course, a divine heartwarming moment can be enjoyed when the coolest outmost ring is felt around 131 degrees Fahrenheit and above. It is a domain for a diverse community of bacteria. As more organisms enjoy living in the outermost ring, the mix of their various carotenoids produces the darkest color. The springs start boiling when heated water emerges through cracks in the Earth's surface, unlike the case of geysers, which have obstacles near the surface that force them to erupt. Water from hot springs flows upwards without barriers and creates a non-stop cycle of hot water rising, cooling, and falling. In the Grand Prismatic Spring, the constant cycle creates rings at different temperatures around the center. Extremely hot water bubbles shoot up from the middle and gradually cool as they spread across the spring's massive surface, measured to be around 370 feet. Surprisingly, the hot water shoots up from the underground chambers at a temperature of 189 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it too hot to sustain most life. The lives that manage to live in this region are organisms that feed off inorganic chemicals like hydrogen gas. And the fact that only little organisms live in the center of the pool, the water shoots out from there. It looks extremely clear and has a beautiful deep blue color thanks to the scattering of blue wavelengths, which is the same reason oceans and lakes appear blue to our naked eyes. As the hot water falls out of the center and gets cooled, it creates concentric circles of different temperatures. These distinct temperature rings are what manifest the different colors because each ring creates a very different environment inhabited by different types of bacteria. It is the different types of bacteria that give the spring its prismatic colors. It's easy to find natural wonders within Yellowstone National Park. The park's largest hot spring might be the most remarkable, and it's not for its size. Dubbed the Grand Prismatic Spring, the hot spring radiates extremely hot water, giving a stunning prismatic color from its center. Formerly called the Grand Prismatic Spring, spreads out its uniqueness because of the way light is being scattered. It gives a heartwarming rainbow color at the shore of the spring. When a visit was paid to Yellowstone National Park, shockingly, a shoe with part of a foot was found floating in the Yellowstone National Park's hot springs. Whose shoe is this and how did it get there? The news official stated that the shoe and the foot were found in the West Thumb Geyser Basin area, which contains an abyss pool. After the gruesome discovery, it was shut down by authorities. As of present, however, it has been reopened. According to a spokesperson from the park, Morgan Worthen, he said an investigation about how the shoe found its way into the hot spring was being carried out, and there was no other further information that was elaborated. Yellowstone National Park's official claims that the abyss pool is the deepest in the park and has a depth of 53 feet. Serious warning signs are posted at Yellowstone National Park, which enlightens people to be careful and stay on designated trails and boardwalks. Some of the signs also warn that hydrothermal water can cause severe skin burns. It was also stated that everyone around the park is responsible for their safety, and there should always be a first thought for safety when visiting, because Yellowstone National Park is dangerous. Now a dangerous thought may come to mind. What if anyone conceived a terrible idea to dive in for a swim in any of the hot springs? What could happen to the person's body? Due to the presence of one of the largest magma bodies in the world, it is fueled by a continuous pump of superheated fluid that might cause dynamic and violent subterranean plumbing. This means that the water bodies at the surface, including the many geysers and springs, tend to be highly acidic, incredibly hot, and deadly to animal life. 
In 2016, an unlucky individual, who perhaps suicidally, decided to ignore the numerous warnings plastered around the park and dip his finger into Yellowstone's plentiful hot springs. Yes, it was a wrong move and he had it tough. The aftermath of the action was unfortunate. Not only did he fall in and die within a few seconds, he completely dissolved within 24 hours. Of course, the incident was recorded to be one of the most critical moments in human history. What exactly happened to his body when he tumbled into the hot boiling spring? The first thing that happened was that his body felt like it was bathing in a hot pool at around 93 degrees Celsius. You can imagine the feeling. It would hurt like nothing you can imagine, but only as long as his nervous system could sustain the pain before he loses his life. Depending on how better you can guess, it could be more than a minute or so at this temperature. The hot pool diver's skin quickly got roasted and began to melt his whole body and blood vessels, resulting in his full body rupturing apart, causing his blood to quickly evaporate and dry up. Skin layers, instead of breaking down, lost all their water and became leathery and blackened. All the burning process of his body from the first stage is known as full thickness burn, happening in less than a minute. His nervous system entered a state of shock and became irreversibly damaged. At this point, his organs and waste in his intestine had started to melt, though the extreme heat would have already melted all of them. In two to three minutes, the acidity covers the remains of his burnt body completely in some of the hot springs alkaline waters, including the Norris Geyser Basin. The very basin the visitor fell into is incredibly acidic, with pH values of around 2, far lower than the value of the acidic scale. The more acidic it gets with such high temperatures, even his skeleton couldn't stand a chance within just a few hours inside the extremely hot water. The visitor got burnt up and dried in the hot pool with all his parts, including the skeleton melting into liquid, which of course evaporated, leaving the black ashes floating on the hot liquid, while they continued to evaporate further until nothing was left. Yellowstone National Park does not mean bad to the world. There are good sides to it. It can help in the research for life on other planets like Mars and Jupiter. Scientists conducted weird research and discovered some groups of microbes found living inside rocks in an inhospitable geothermal environment, and Wyoming's Yellowstone National Park could provide valuable information about ancient life on Earth and other planets. You'll be shocked to know that there is an in-house problem faced by this hottest piece of land in America. Carnivorous animals are always seen encroaching on their territories, especially those carnivorous animals who always have an internal cold, and a situation like this poses a significant threat to any being around the territory. What do you think about Yellowstone National Park? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the notification button to receive updates on new videos.